right, so I had this dream last night where going through all of this stuff, like all these people, you know, trying to kill me and stuff. So the world is going to end, right? And I know because I had like, you know, my psyche powers, they show me that the world is going to end and that I have to get these like crystal shards and do something with them to basically end up keeping the world from ending. So in order to get these shards, I have to basically get break into the bank owned by the mafia. And I have to get the password to go, um, you know, basically from the guy in the mafia, figure out the password to open up the safe in the bank and get all of the crystals. So leading up to it, it was a whole bunch of, you know, stuff with like a bunch of people trying to kill me and whatnot. So then I end up picking up with this team of people. And what's interesting about the team of people that I linked up with was like it was made up of people who in my past had betrayed me in some way, shape, or form. So I get together with this um, team of people and we coming up with all this, this whole plan and everything like that. So I go in and I have to use this ability like called bullet time, right? And when I use the ability, it's like, it's, it's really weird how it works because it's like, it's like it goes through time. And then like, so I'm thinking it's supposed to be like bullet time, like, you know, like Max Payne, but it's like, it's like it slows down time and then it goes through time and mixes time up to the point where I can basically see the fingerprints everywhere that they touch on a code so that I can unlock it. And originally, like the first time I did it, I failed. So I had to rewind time, go back and go back in there because the reason being was that Basically, since my power just started developing, I had to do it around the time that he would open up the thing. So it would be like right before he came in and he was about to touch it because then I would go forward in time. So then I could have the um, right password because, of course, you know, he touched it a bunch of times. So we had different fingerprints. So there would be different pressure if it's more recent. So if I can get to go forward in time to where he touched it then, you know, I could see, like, where, like, where the recent touches, I mean, it's technically not re recent because it's in the future, but it, it's it's kind of difficult to explain because it's a whole time thing. So, I end up getting in there, I get all of the crystals, and then, you know, of course, you know, the bank is owned by the mafia, so it's filled up with mafia people, so all the mafia people are trying to kill me now. And then, um... So then, of course, you know, I'm taking all of them out cause, and my powers are starting to develop. And so then I get out of there. And this one guy who's like one of the mafia bosses, he's like, he like tells me come to the back with him because he's like, he got something for me. So I come back there and everybody who was in my team, he got them back there. His goons got the people, they pointing, they pointing guns at him and whatnot, right? So I start smiling. He's like, what you smiling for? Right? So my body slowly starts to like mutate a little bit more. And it's like every time I use the uh, powers, not my psychic powers, but my powers from like me getting infected and starting to mutate. Like basically those powers, every time I use them, I st my body starts to mutate more and I start to look more like a monster. So... Basically, everybody who was on my team, their body was covered by, like, these really hard rocks. And then these, like, blades came out of the came out of the ground and killed all of the mafia people. So all of them are dead. Right? And so then, you know, I get the crystals back. And then I'm going through all of this stuff because as my body started to go through transformation, it was like... It was really bothering me because it was like, basically like I had a limited amount of time before I fully turned into this like whole monster thing. And it was like getting to the point where I started hearing this like voice talking to me and it was like I would go through this rage where 
I would lose control. And it's like, it felt like the spirit was taking over my body. And I would just like kill all of my enemies because it was just like, you know, I was, I was trying to basically disable them, but it's like, as it was starting to take over me, it was just like, I would just slaughter them. Like they would just turn into piles of blood. And so basically like a whole lot of stuff happening, a whole lot of talking to people. And then I get to this, like, it's like a museum. So inside that museum, there was this place where I had to put the crystals at to save the world. But it ends up going into all of this politics. I got to talk to people, go through all of this, go through all of that. They got in the place where I got to put the crystals in order to save the world. And all of this is pissing me off. So I'm contemplating, yo, I should just kill everybody so I can put these crystals where I need to put them and save the world. But I'm trying to be morally right. So I'm like, I, right, I'm not going to kill everybody. Because, you know, it is kind of like defeating the purpose if I kill all of these people. And then, like, just to place a crystal there. Because, basically, I'm going to become the villain, right? Because nobody's going to know that the world was going to end. All everybody's going to know is that I walked up into a museum and I slaughtered everybody. Because I saved the world, the world doesn't end up ending. The demons from hell don't come to earth and kill everybody on the planet. So nobody, so everybody is, of course, going to feel like, you know, hey, the world wasn't going to end. Nothing was going to happen. I mean, they wouldn't know the world's going to end. So they're just going to think I'm just some evil person that just killed everybody for no reason. So it's like, it's, it's no point in me going through all of that trouble, all of that stress and shit. So I, I'm going to play this politics shit. I'm talking to people. Of course, I didn't end up getting to place the crystals in the place on time. And then one of the dudes who was like a guard or whatnot at the um, museum. So he, this, this nigga, he trying to kill me with the fucking sword and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, why is, why is you trying to kill me? Like, I'm, I'm talking, doing this politicking and shit. This fucker trying to kill me, right? So then it ends up that um, there's this, this whole voice and shit, right? And a voice tells everybody what team they're on. And it's like the whole world turns dark and tells everybody what team is on. And then you, you, your body temporarily turns a certain color based on the team that you're on. So then the guy stopped trying to kill me. He said the reason that he was trying to kill me was because the teams were about to come up. And so he was just trying to kill everybody who might be on the opposite team. And I was like, yo, that's real stupid. Because I, if you really think about it, right, you don't know who's going to be on whose team. So it's like I might be on your team, which I happen to end up being on this team. But it's like, so think about it. Like if I, I'm going to be on your team and you're trying to kill me, then I'm not going to trust you. So then that's going to make us lose. You feel me? You burning bridges. You making bad blood between us. It would have been a lot smarter for you to become friends with everybody because you become friends with everybody. Then everybody was on your team. You team up. You work together well. You win this shit. Everybody who's not on your team, you kill them. Or if you're not grimy like that, then, you know, you, you avoid hurting each other or whatnot. But uh, I don't think that's how the game works. I think, you know, people got to die. If you don't you don't die, then, then you, you, you know, people die. Shit, like, whatever. Like, nah. I just fucked up how I said it. But basically, like, if you don't kill them, then you die. That's basically kind of like, I think it works. I don't know. Didn't get through the whole game. So, I didn't want to play this dumbass game. And I missed my opportunity to put the crystals where I had to put them. So, it was like, ugh, fuck this shit. So, I ended up going to the movies with my girlfriend. Right? But here's the thing. My girlfriend was the ex that fucked up my whole life. What do you know? Everybody in the dream who's on my team is some fucker who was trying to kill me, betray me, or fuck up my entire life. I feel like this is, this is a fucking message for this dream. Anyway, getting back to the movies, right? So go to the movies with her. The real reason that I'm at the movies because my psychic power showed me that... 
a portal was going to open up. Portal to hell. I go through this portal and put the crystal there. Save the world. And guess where it was going to appear? That's right. Right under the theater we were in. Of course, Corona time is like, oh, no, you shouldn't go to the theater. But guess what? Because of my mutation that was turning me into a monster, I was immune to the coronavirus. Everybody else in the theater, they weren't immune. So they were dumbasses just going to the movies, not giving a fuck about Corona. But hey, that's the world that we live in. So fuck them. I'm immune. I'm a monster turning into a monster. I won't become human unless I save the fucking world. And then it's not even a guarantee with that, but you know, might be my body might be too infected, too much mutation from the fucking crystal, so I might never be a human again. Had hundreds, possibly even thousands of people try to kill me for these crystals, doing all these politics just to save the fucking world, which I'm not going to fucking die because because the fucking mutation turning me into a fucking monster, I would be the only one to survive. Only human. I mean, if I'm still considered human, now I'm becoming a mutant monster. But anyway, back to the story. So, um, sitting in a the theater, and there's this, like, couple sitting next to us. And of course, you know, the woman, she, you know, gets up, and she keeps getting up, and whatnot like that. So I have my bag with the crystals and all of that sitting right next to me, all of that. Then my ex is constantly getting on my nerves, bothering me about stuff. Well, I mean, in the dream, she was my girlfriend. So my girlfriend in the dream, getting on my goddamn nerves, always bothering me about shit, right? Next thing I know, all of a sudden, we sitting in a completely different aisle, right? It's like, it's like some type of teleportation. You like, you know how in video games when you, you teleport and you see that old like white beam around you and shit. Like that's what the shit was like. So I'm in some different chair and I'm looking over to me, like next to me. And like my coat and my bag and all of my shit is gone. And so it's like, yo, what the fuck happened? So I stand up and I realize I'm in a completely different row now. So it's like, yo, what the hell happened? So I run like all the way back to the far end because we were on the far end course i wanted to stay on the far end because you know i wanted to know exactly you know where all my stuff was at so i go there and my coat is sitting on the steps like right in front of the couple that was sitting next to us and mind you i had my stuff sitting like right there on the steps right next to us the couple was sitting right next to us so it was like really suspect that they're now sitting on the steps right above my coat so i go there my bags and everything is missing, right? So then the couple is telling us that, oh yeah, the kids, they took your bag with all the razors in it. And I'm like, the fuck? I don't have no fucking razors. What the fuck is you talking about then? I was like, oh fuck. It's the shards. Because the shards are what gave me the mutation with all these fucking blades and, and shit. So I'm thinking razors, she must be talking about the shots. So, at this point, I'm I'm fucking fed up. I'm sick and tired of the human race. I've had all of these people try to kill me. I've had to do all of these politics. When it would have taken me two, three minutes to put the crystals where the fuck I need to put it to save the entire fucking world. But no. No. I have to deal with damn near every human being getting in my way and stopping me from saving the fucking world. I'm saving your life, keeping you alive. Your bitch ass is keeping me from saving your life and the life of everybody that you give a fuck about. So I was like, at this point, I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You people deserve to die. You're going to get what's fucking coming to you. Because all of you assholes got in my fucking way when I tried to save your fucking life. And just so you know, it's going to be horrible, slow, and fucking painful. It's going to be demons from fucking hell. So it probably won't even end after you die. After you die, you're probably going to go to fucking hell and they're going to own your soul. So you're probably going to get tortured for all fucking eternity. And you could have been saved from this if you would have given me the two, the three, 
fucking minutes just to put the goddamn crystals where the hell they belong. 